Uh, yeah. There we be, we're gonna be tying the uh, silt sifter. Very simple. Great buggy looking carp fly. Definitely good bottom bouncer. Um, starting out, uh, me, yeah, medium black cone head on a uh, 32756 uh, Mustad Jacook size 6. Um, start this fly out. You make sure your cone head is secure and pull some pheasant underwing from just under the wing, marabou, whatever you want to call it. Even the tips up. Multiple strands give it a more buggy. Measure it out. Tie in as close to the head as you can. You want to keep it. Keeps the cone head in place. Very short tail fly. Doesn't really need to be that long. Four strands of crystal flash. Four on each side with the pheasant. Give it a little bit of sparkle. You're going to want to take you uh, barred brown and black silly legs. We're going to go do two of these over the top. Once again, just gives a little more movement and color to the fly. your second strand make sure it's really cinched down in there right. what you're going to want to do next is prepare a hen saddle feather longer uh, select a longer feather for uh, you're going to wrap all the way up to the cone makes it extra buggy what you're going to want to do next I've prepared it's a grayish, purplish dubbing. Um, choose mix and match colors, I mean, to fit your fishing conditions. I'm gonna want to dub pretty thick, at least to give it a good thick body. Looking really buggy. <laughs> Get the hen saddle up out of the way. Real thick body. What you're going to do next, wrap your hen saddle. Loose wraps, brushing back every now and then, all the way up to cone. where you will secure the stem and prepare to attach a second feather to bulk it up. I choose a thicker, longer fibered feather for this. It doesn't have to be one of the longer ones. Secure it in. Brush back fibers as you go. Make this fly look.
fantastic. Getting the stem up in there, securing the stem. Cat snoring in the background. Finish the fly. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Jamie. Couple of whip finishes will do you good. Uh, to give the fly a little bit of a more bouncing, give it less material to mess up on. I'll tr I trim the hackle on the bottom of the fly. Very simple. Great looking. Cart fly.